Tyrannosaurus Moth here. Um, 2020 has been a year, to put it lightly, but it's almost over. And because it's almost over, that means it's time for end of year lists and favorite lists and best ofs and all that sort of thing. And I'm here to add to that noise with my uh, top 10 favorite action figures of the year. So before we get into it, um, just a couple criteria I had for it. First being, I have to actually own the figure because I can't really judge something that I don't own. Um, which should be obvious, but you know, it's putting it out there so we have the ground rules. Uh, and number two, I had to be released this year. That's a little more slippery, especially because release dates are kind of um, iffy under normal circumstances. Uh, and this year has been just a mess for everything. Uh, so there might be a couple contentious things, but again, this is just my favorite going off my personal view of how that goes. So. Um, without further ado, let's do it. Coming in at number 10, we have the Bandai Dragon Ball Z Janemba. Uh, I gotta be honest, I know next to nothing about Dragon Ball Z except for what my best friend fills me in on. Um, but I'm definitely interested in a lot of stuff, especially this character. Uh, aesthetically, it's a red and purple character with a cool ass sword, so I am totally into that. Uh, also very devil looking, which is awesome. Uh, the only thing that holds this back on the list, honestly, is some of the articulation. While most of it's pretty good, um, you get next to nothing in the head in terms of up and down. Like, even though there's two, there's a barbell and, def and there should be two points of articulation, just doesn't move. And legs, no splits. They also kind of come off those ball joints really easily. Um, even though they drop down, so that's kind of sad, but still, solid figure. And coming in at number 9 is the Marvel Legends uh, Walmart exclusive Grey Black Widow. Um, this figure is awesome, I mean, especially considering most of it is just the standard female buck for Marvel Legends, um, so there's some hindered articulation. Uh, she comes with accessories galore, which definitely gets points with me. So you get the firing stingers, you get the already smoking stingers, you get a backpack, you get blast effects for that backpack, and you get the gauntlets that are not fired, plus two fists and two open hands. Absolutely fantastic. Plus. Just one of the best face sculpts I've seen from Marvel Legends. Uh, the second one is a figure I don't have, which would be the um, the uh, two-pack with Rogue. Um, hopefully I'll get that in the new year. In at number eight, a figure I saw on damn near every top 10 list this year, and rightfully so, it's the Marvel Legends Movie Venom. Um, absolutely stellar sculpt. The articulation is absolutely fantastic. Missing a couple things like butterfly joints and um, kind of a boot cut or uh, shin cut, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but other than that, damn near perfect figure. Number seven is where nostalgia kicks in for me as it is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. I know a lot of people weren't really excited about this one being the first Storm Shadow that we got. However, I was super excited because I had a lot of great memories with the original version of this toy uh, way back in the day. I still remember getting it for one of my birthdays. And uh, when I saw that this was released, I was elated. I was not elated that it was an Amazon exclusive. I got it through another channel, but uh, I'm still just glad it exists and I'm glad I have it. In at number six is the Star Wars Black Series, The Armorer. Uh, this character in the show, The Mandalorian, was absolutely badass, and they totally brought that into plastic form. It comes across. Uh, this is the Hasbro Pulse, uh, PulseCon exclusive version, so it has the uh, cloth little cape back here, which honestly does wonders. I've heard that some of the art, the uh, plastic version of this cape gets in the way of some of the articulation on the standard version, so I'm definitely glad that I pre-ordered this and went for this one. Not to mention the accessories it comes with, which I don't have on hand at the moment, but the uh, transparent, uh, translucent plastic helmet and 
like hitting effect with the uh, tongs just look really cool and offer a lot of opportunities for different photos. And at number five, we have the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Pumpkin Wrapper. Um, this figure has an impressive amount of articulation. Um, it is more or less the standard male Lightning Collection buck with uh, obviously an augmented head, um, which itself has more articulation than you would expect it to have. You don't get a ton of up and down, but uh, there is more movement there, so you can get some slight expression. Uh, sculpt is absolutely great. Um, paint, not a ton to speak of, but it definitely gets the job done. If you want to add a wash to this, it would definitely bring it home. Um, accessories everywhere, including pumpkin heads that you can put on putties and the rangers themselves to duplicate what happened in the show. Uh, overall, just an absolutely super fun figure. And at number four, we have a little bit of a tie with um, the Marvel Legends Target exclusive Red Hulk and the Marvel Legends Game Reverse GameStop exclusive Outback Hulk. Uh, I love the looks of both of these. Red is one of my three favorite colors, so Red Hulk definitely is up there. It's a super chunky figure, super satisfying to uh, pose and play with. Um, and Outback Hulk, I just love the, the aesthetic. Um, arm wrap things, I don't know why, it's just an aesthetic I really like, the body paint and stuff like that. Um, just really cool looking, uh, and the articulation on both of them is uh, honestly very fun to work with. So I couldn't choose, uh, and they're both the same character from the same line technically, so they get to go together on number four. Number three is the Sto Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Sector. Um, I love the character. The paint job on this is absolutely delicious. It comes with a flame effect because this is the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive version. Technically, this one shipped out at the very end of 2019, but I didn't get it until January of 2020, so this one counts for me. Um, not only do you get that flame effect, but you also get the um, giant crushing fatality effect, or I guess not, not really an effect, but a piece, and that's badass. Almost to the end with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Time Force Red Ranger coming in at number two. Um, this one, they used a new male buck for the uh, body, and honestly, it's fantastic. The much better range in the hips, the uh, slimmer build, and just overall, it's just a cooler looking figure. I kind of hope they redo um, the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, and maybe just the Mighty Morphin Rangers in general with this body type because it's just super fun to play with and uh, super fun to pose. Uh, the only thing that hinders this thing is the helmet design, which I mean, I might be able to dremel out, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, just absolutely fantastic and shows what they can do with this line. Into the surprise of potentially no one, my favorite figure of 2020 is the G.I. Joe Classified Series. Profit Director Destro. Um, I absolutely love the aesthetics of this figure. The um, articulation's great, as I've gone over before. Honestly, if you want to see everything I or hear everything I feel about this figure, uh, please go check out my review, which is also on this channel. Uh, probably link to it in the last screen of this video. So there's my list. Uh, please let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. More importantly, I want to know what your top 10 action figures were that were released in this year, the trash fire that was 2020, down in the comments below. So, you know, let me know, let's talk about it. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Interaction is good, that's what helps my channel get seen. Um, and I want to get more serious with this in the next year. I got a lot more plans. I want to try and up the production value instead of, you know, doing videos in front of my living room window. Um, uh, so we'll see what the new year brings. Um, so that being said, I hope that you and your family are all safe and well and good and that I see you here again. So please be kind to yourself, your friends, your family, everyone around you, and I will see you in the next video. Good night.